Hi, my name is Bob Gallagher. I'm the mayor of the city of Bettendorf, Iowa. Today is Friday the 13th of May. Welcome to the mayor's message. We have a bonus message for you. Two different things that are happening this weekend. Actually, three really cool things happening in Bettendorf. Welcome to summer, right? Here we are in the middle of May. Today, we're at Station 2 of our fire department on Spruce Hills Drive, and we're joined by Lieutenant Andy Sheehan of our fire department, who's going to talk to you about an event this weekend called Sound the Alarm. Andy, welcome to the mayor's message. Thank you, Mayor. Um, just want to talk a little bit about um, what's going on with uh, the American Red Cross. They actually have a program called Sound the Alarm. It's an event that we hold every year. The last two years, obviously, have been a little tough, so we were, had to postpone those. But this year, we're excited to come back and uh, help with Sound the Alarm event. Basically what this is, is where residents across the, across the Quad City area um, actually uh, request for um, us to come in and install smoke detectors into their home to help them be protected. Um, so the Red Cross has that event going on this Saturday, May 14th, and that is from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, if there's any uh, people out there that would like to still volunteer to help with that, they're looking for volunteers. We actually had about double the requests that we thought we were going to get. So Mostly there's because probably oh, two years in a row. Yeah, exactly. You know, coming into their home. We want to we want to make sure we cover that many. You know, it's a good problem to have. However, it is something that uh, is can be a lot for us. So if you're looking to volunteer, um, you can reach out to the Red Cross at soundthealarm.org and register. And then uh, what it is is um, coming in about 8:30 to 9 is when you would start to come in at the Moline Red Cross. Um, a, uh, building, which is on 1100 River Drive in Moline. Moline. They will provide lunch. They will provide a t-shirt, a sound the alarm t-shirt for you to wear and the materials to go into the residence and, and install these detectors with. So these folks have already signed up. These are the detectors. They come from the American Red Cross. They're very easy to install, obviously. Uh, there's no electrical work. You're just putting up a detector that's battery operated. That's correct. Actually, the really unique thing about this, this is what's called a 10-year battery detector. Okay. You cannot remove the battery out of this. It's good for 10 years. Perfect. So kind of that out of sight, out of mind type of thing for us, this helps with that. Great. If you're a Bettendorf resident, can you ask for a smoke detector? That's correct. So even though you may not have registered for this current event, you can still actually request anytime throughout the year, really, um, still by going to the Red Cross website and making that request. And either the Red Cross will send a volunteer to try to help get those uh, detectors installed into your home, or we will try to assist with that as well. And we'll make sure that in our community that we're protecting. Okay, fantastic. So if you can volunteer this weekend, that's awesome. We're going to talk to you about a couple other events here in just a minute. But we really appreciate Andy joining us, uh, joining the mayor's message to talk to you about a safety thing that's happening this weekend. Sound the alarm. And if you're interested and you need a smoke detector in Bettendorf, these guys will come out and make sure you got one, okay? Thank you very much for joining us. We're headed to Public Works. Stay with us. We've arrived at Public Works, and now we're joined by our Public Works Director, Brian Schmidt. Brian, thanks for joining the Mayor's Message today. Thank you, Your Honor. So tell us a little bit about Public Works, like how many employees you have and the, the, the types of things you do in the city. And then we're going to talk about a really cool event tomorrow. Sounds great. All right, so what we do is we have 104 employees, full-time, part-time, and seasonal uh, help. Uh, we actually have three divisions here at Public Works. We have an engineering division, an operations division, and a parks maintenance division, uh, all that provide excellent services yeah. uh, that you can expect for the city. So you get to come out here tomorrow and take a look at some of the cool equipment they use. Brian, tell us about what's happening tomorrow. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the APWA, the American Public Works Association, recognizes the third week of May of every year as National Public Works Week. Um, during that event, uh, we always host a Public Works Day annually. Unfortunately, we have been unable to have this event the last two years yeah. because of COVID. Sure. So we're excited this year to have this event uh, this Saturday, May 14th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. up here at our Public Works facility uh, at 4403 Devil's Glen Road, right behind the post office. So what can I expect if I come to Public Works Day? Well, when you come to Public Works Day, you can actually have uh, the public will have an opportunity to meet several of our staff members that will be here to greet them to talk about a lot of information of the services that we provide the city sure. of Bettendorf. Uh, during that event, also, uh, we will be serving uh, hot dogs, brats, uh, chips, popcorn, soda, you name it. We have that. We'll be serving lunch uh, for everybody. We will actually have an area over here where uh, staff or employees uh, the, their families and the public alike could come out and paint two snowplow blades 
that we will actually have loaded up on our snow plows this winter. We will have face painting for the kids and as, as well as a bounce house. Awesome. I've been up for Public Works Day. Come bring the kids, let them run around. They get to look at all the cool equipment and the stuff that they may have that, you know, in, in small size that they're playing with in their sandboxes. So it's a great opportunity. We also have a third event that's going to happen this Saturday as well, tomorrow afternoon, mm -hmm. over at Tangled Wood, which is very close to here. From 4 to 7, the Parks and Rec Department has got a fundraiser. It's going to be a wonderful day to be out and about. So come to Public Works Day. Go to Sound the Alarm if you're going to uh, request a smoke detector. Or if you want to volunteer, that's soundthealarm.org. And top off your evening with a trip to the Tangled Wood for our fundraiser for Bettendorf Parks and Recreation. Have a great weekend.